nigga stamp, bro, we gon' get back. Three nights, two FNs in the scat. Too greedy, he slimy, really that. All black ski masks, everybody slack. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ju, and I'm back with another vid. Said, hey man, I heard my son Duke Dennis had responded to Nick Bridge and shit on Twitch. For me, I don't got Twitch and shit, so I don't really be paying attention to that shit. But um, somebody had told me he had responded to Nick Bridge, calling him out and shit. But I thought the beef was just between Nick Bridge and Kai Sinai and Phantom. I ain't even know Duke Dennis was in this shit, cause Duke Dennis ain't even say nothing about Nick Bridge and the um and the cipher and shit. Under like certain certain stuff, like you shouldn't even play with certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how can I say this? Like, alright, so boom. The the nigga. The nigga came at me. <laughs> look, look, look. The nigga came at me like I was the one who put bro in the cypher. Like, nigga, my cypher. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, I ain't even know they had beef. I thought it was between them shit, feel me? But I'm just minding my business and shit. I ain't gonna lie. Had nothing to do with, do with this nigga. <laughs> my cypher had nothing to do with the nigga, right? And then I had already... I had already had like a problem with him in the past, but even that situation right there wasn't about me. Like even even that situation wasn't wasn't about me. So that's why when I realized like how why am I beefing with somebody I never see? Like beefing with somebody over the internet is super weird because it's like you live all the way you live a you live a thousand miles away that's what it's like a lot of new york rappers be trying to say that shit too like a lot of these niggas that's be commenting putting input on the internet and shit they just be niggas on the internet for me like they don't even they they don't even be knowing what's going on really in the city because they don't live in the city for me you know what i'm saying you live a thousand miles away and i live a thousand miles away so even all even when the even when me and him was into it about a year ago, it seemed like, like I still was on the same type of time. And like, bro, I'm not gonna beef with you, bro. You live a thousand miles away. So if you fast forward, like, like to end off that situation, you remember that was around the time like that um, he got exposed for doing all, all of that, all of that content. And even then I had, me and him was going back and forth, but then when I seen all of that go down, I was like, I was like, hey, bro, I, I don't wish falling off on nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you can pull through. I hope you get past this, and I hope you still be making YouTube videos and stuff. Because, like, I know, like, I know how, like, you... Ain't gonna lie, I'm low-key fucking with Duke Dennis and shit, because, like, I feel like he just be on some grown man shit, like, any situation. I, as you should, for me, we 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 men at the end of the day, for me. But how people pay their bills and stuff. Leave all that internet shit for the ladies, for me. Like all the girls be doing that internet shit. We men. You know what I'm saying? So I I never wish that on nobody. I never wish falling off on nobody. And I told him that in the DM. And so like, I was just saying that like, I would never beef with nobody on the internet, cause like, there's no point. Like I can't. Put my hand. I, like if me and you, like if me and you wanted to solve the issue, we couldn't because it's like you a thousand miles away. So there's no point in beefing if the beef can't lead to us doing something a little more physical. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I had no real problem with him at first, and I still I still don't have a problem with him. And so like. Um, to end off the situation, I had told him, like, hey, bro, look, I hope you can get past this because I don't wish falling off on nobody. And so, and so, like, that that situation had passed. And then when the cycle came out, I didn't even put bro in my, I didn't even put bro in my cycle because, I, to be honest, I completely forgot about bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, I didn't put bro in my cycle. I completely forgot about bro, but I I knew that when 
they put him in a in a cipher that he was going, of course, respond. But I didn't think the nigga was going to respond to me. Like, how were you responding to me when I didn't even? <laughs> hey, look, how were you responding to me? I ain't going to lie. Y'all got to let me know where Duke Dennis from. He sound like he got like a South accent. I'm thinking he either from like Texas or he from, from Memphis. Y'all let me know where he from, man. He got like a little accent and shit. When I didn't give you nothing to respond to. So... So boom, he on when he on his story and shit like that, I'm like, he when he said what he said, it was like, damn, you know, so I understand. Um, I'm like, damn, I understand that you trying to get back, and I'm a part of AMP, but bro, that's a little too far right there. Like, I'm like, bro, when he posted that, he DM me first, talking crazy, and I'm like, hey, bro, do you, bro? You know what I'm saying? He posted, say he when he posted that, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, that's a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? I get you responding and you talking shit because the cipher was about you. But the but what you saying is a little is a little crazy. So he basically trying to say like he went a little too far and said, I mean, I don't I ain't gonna lie. Me personally, I wouldn't even like like yeah, we giving this shit, but I wouldn't even give a fuck. Cause either way, like we we can't do nothing. Like you, he's saying like you, you all the way in a whole different state for me. Like how we supposed to sold the beef and you all the way in a whole different state for me. Like I just don't, I don't even make sense to beef him. It's like, and it's like that what he's speaking on. They ain't even nothing to play about. <laughs> like that ain't even nothing to play about. Cause boy, that was a serious situation that luckily I I got out of. You heard me. And so, like, the fact that he did that right there, actually bringing up a situation like that, knowing for a fact that I, that it wasn't how he trying to make it, and that he trying to make it look like that I that I that I do that when 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 obviously when obviously right. If I did some dumb shit like that, bro, I would I wouldn't be a famous YouTuber. Man, this man is preaching right now. Like he really went from telling telling like the story to just spitting straight game. <laughs> like he preaching. Bro, I mean, not famous. Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't be a, a known YouTuber if I would if I did some shit like that. I would be in jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? So like, um. The fact that he did all that, I ain't gonna lie, it made me look at him like, nah, that's crazy. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at him for doing it. I'm just a little disappointed that he that he would try to make me look like that. You know what I'm saying? When number one, I ain't even say shit about bro to be to begin with. And I know it's kind of hard to like, to be honest, he really didn't have nothing to say to Kai and Phantom. So the nigga just came at me when, you know what I'm saying, when really, bro, I ain't. Nah, facts. I saw, uh, I saw Dick Bridge reacting to that shit. I was going to react to it, but it's just like a, it's not even that long of a video to react to. So, but nah, I've seen that shit though. My son, Nick Bridge, was wilding. He was wilding. Said your name before that in months. I Like I said, I actually forgot about you. So, uh, I ain't really mad at him. I still, to this day, don't have a problem with bro. But I think that was just a little, a little, a little weird for him to, to try to make it seem like that. Knowing, like, the only, it's, it's just a little sad that, like, he knows that the situation wasn't like that. And then, and like the fact that he put it on 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 his story and tried to make it seem like that, I was just a little taken back. I was just like, but luckily, luckily, all my supporters and shit was like they know, you know what I'm saying. Luckily, like, luckily, twenty gifted. Hey, hey, appreciate the twenty gifted, man. Appreciate uh triangle. Appreciate the twenty the, the ten gifted, bro. From you, um. But it's just like, luckily, like, no, luckily, like, my, my, my subscribers, y'all really made my day yesterday. Because even though he tried to make it seem like that, 
I, like, I appreciate y'all for like. For he trying to change it now. He trying to be more positive and shit. Nah, facts. Y'all niggas really be motivating me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't be going to do this shit every day, but like, seeing just. I mean, y'all motherfuckers just commenting and shit. Y'all be like, y'all be making me laugh in the comments and shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit really motivating, though. I ain't gonna lie. Standing on business and just standing on what it was. Cause I I don't like even talking about this shit. Cause that shit wasn't even oh uh, this shit ain't even funny. Like playing with shit like that, that ain't funny, my nigga. Like I really would almost wasn't able to live a, a life because of some weird shit like that. And the fact that he playing on top of that, like it's a lot of bad memories that come with that situation for me. So like. Like, like that situation, not even the own, the only bad. I ain't gonna lie, after this, I'm about to go watch some Nick Bridge videos and shit. I heard he be doing basketball content and some y'all be hooping and shit, so. I ain't gonna lie, let me know if I should do a Nick Bridge video. On about this situation, like, I watched my, I watched my cousin pass away due to that situation. Like, that's how that situation even came about. So, like, the fact that I got a stranger on the internet playing with something like that, when I know personally, and y'all know personally, I already got on here and explained that situation. You know what I'm saying? And I got up out of it, and I explained how that how that went down. I really just like, like when you you can't you shouldn't play about something that serious, especially when you know the the truth and you still trying to make it out to be something that it ain't. That shit just was was a little disgusting to me, and so like. And at the end of the day, I still don't have a problem with growth. But it's like, I would, that was just a little, eh. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do what you got to do. When it's time to do what you need to do. So... <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, I don't really like, for me, cause I'm out I'm of my business and shit, I ain't gonna lie. But, um, I don't really see like, I don't think they should just be beefing, bro. Like, these niggas live in a whole different state. There's no point in beefing. For me, what y'all gonna do? Keep going back and forth on the internet? For me, like, yeah, it's entertaining and shit, but at the same time, that shit get boring. Anyway, though, man, that's the end of this video. So if you watch this full video, you know the drill already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you ain't watched the AMG Cypher video yet, that vid at like 11K right now, go watch that. I reacted to the AMG um, Cypher and shit where they was dissing Nick Bridge. I mean, Pretty Boy Fredo, all them niggas. They was wildin'. Um, leave a comment on this video. Definitely leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel because you're on the road to 1K. Um, follow me on the gram. My Instagram is at DiorJu. My Snapchat is at YBWJu1. And I'll see y'all next video.